Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about two lammo, in this case uh, 500 rounds in a spam can. It's a 223 Remington or 556 uh, made in Russia. It's a steel case ammunition. Uh, pretty pretty uh, cheap ammunition here in USA but it still works and uh, has the specification that Russian military ammunition is made for decades so so it's maybe not the, the absolute greatest one but for sure it it works and it uh, has a certain standard uh, what we have to say this is non sealed ammunition so there they did save in a uh, tool ammo wherever they uh, made it in in uh, Russia it's not sealed the primer is is not a uh, sealed like the military ammunition so that's a bit of uh, a drawback but this is mainly for practice and using so we're gonna have a look how that item is and we're gonna also open up the spam case oh they even provided the the opener that's pretty nice did not expect that one but uh, that's good yeah on the on the paperwork here we see basically from Walmart uh, how that did chip and all that back and forth uh, that's nothing interesting. We see the main printing is this. It's a uh, 500 rounds made in Russia uh, Here we have some more more information and Yeah, that pretty much is it on the box uh, We see the spam can has the typical form typical shape and uh, it comes with uh, the opener uh, the openers are really handy to have uh, we see they come in different variants this one is a a different variant uh, it's the basic same system but it's a different variant and I did prepare myself a bit one just quick and simple to wrap a bit bit uh, duct tape around the handle and drill the hole so I can hang it on a on a screw on the, the wall also I did uh, sharpen a bit uh, the edge there and without uh, the opener it's a bit of pain you need to be careful it's real ammunition in it you can't uh, hit it too much with the chisel and all that you need to be careful that is uh, uh, I see some horror videos on YouTube that people go on it with the Dremel and the uh, 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 grinder and all that, that is uh, tough. It's real ammunition, it has, it is dangerous. So best is to have a bit of uh, a tool. How that works, I did show on the, uh, on a, another video already. So we're gonna simply hook it in the rim. Doesn't matter where you start. Basically the hook part here goes into the rim and then you go all the way down You're not gonna go in like this. You're gonna stay with this one on that rim and the other one goes Completely on that rim. So that is all what it is and then As you open it gonna make a, a bit of sound as you pierce it for the first time So we're gonna enjoy that too Uh, this one not even did make much of a sound so then you basically do that motion around the curve it needs a bit more more time to get around the curve there the can itself I'm gonna reuse the cover is usually pretty much uh, litter maybe use it a bit as a target or something I'm not gonna leave the spam cans together uh, from Russia 
we don't know what we're gonna get. As I remember, the Italians, some criminals, did sell stuff in Italy, electronic like cameras and video players back then in the 80s. And uh, as you, as a tourist, opened the thing up at home or wherever you were, that was a, a brick in it or a wood or something. So we're gonna have a look what we actually gonna have in it. If you saw that with your own eyes, it's always better than simply think yeah, yeah, it, it is that in it what they did actually sell you. Also the Russian spam cans are a pain. As we saw with the, with the tool it's relatively easy to, to open, but I open my tuna cans and other cans with the Swiss Army knife in a similar way for too many years now. So also the Russian spam cans are not designed for open and close like the, the US military ammunition can. So I prefer the US ones by far over the Russian stuff. And uh, we have to see this is not military ammunition, it's civilian made. And we simply want to have a look how that looks inside. So we have a bit of cardboard on the side. We have the typical string here. We would not have to need that. It comes out. Uh, if you did open the old World War II or a bit later with the was in knock-on ammunition there that part here is really needed to lift out the first because that is packaged so so tight together that that is really really needed so we see here the ammunition is pretty well I'm not gonna take all out right now but uh, we see the typical black red and yellow box Berdan primed it's not even a, a boxer uh, those are, are hard to reload anyhow with steel case so that is how that is the Tula cartridge works uh, back in the day I was traveling to Tula one time too uh, that was yeah, still a pitiful looking town. Unfortunately, they did not have much to much money to renovate and all that. I still remember that. Well, it did look a bit like like World War Two, but uh, yeah, that is a different story. So we see it's 20 rounds. The primers are not sealed. So I did make a video on how to seal ammunition with nail polish. It's relatively easy and simple and uh, then that would be better for resistance tea that the ammunition gets wet or oily or all that that it would pierce the, the primer and would not work anymore so it's 20 rounds on that plastic part 20 per box and of course the number of the box that we have the, the 500 rounds so the, the lid part is just a, a bended sheet metal now. I may use that a bit for target and then it's gonna go in the scrap metal. But the, the bucket itself is really good. Uh, that you can use for multiple things if it's gonna be used as a flower bucket or to storage items or whatever because it's pretty good made uh, you need to be careful a bit on the rim where we did cut it with the with the opener it's going to be sharp you can hammer that a bit down with the with a tool to make it a bit easier or cover it up with a, with a bit of a duct tape and uh, then that can be used for quite some some uses so those i keep that is a, a good uh, item it's a added bonus but of course it would be nicer if that comes already in a u.s military ammunition can if the 
Chinese would gear up and make such uh, ammunition cans really cheap and uh, the Russian would put the ammunition in there that would be quite likely uh, pretty good. So that much about the opening of the spam can in uh, 5.56 the, the tool ammo.